how exciting mm. is that game? Lee Dixon mentioned in yeah. his chat with uh, with Joe Spade that possibly yeah. the Bernardo Silva at centre half and a few other things was Pep Guardiola today mm. already starting the mind games to confuse Mikel Arteta. Yes or no? Well, you wouldn't put anything past Pep. Uh, what's great about the, this game coming up the backer is. The rivalry over the last few years has been Man City and Liverpool. And we've kind of seen Liverpool push City all the way. And we know that Liverpool were, were, were determined to, to go all, all the way. With Arsenal, this rivalry is new. Like, they're the new kids or not. We don't quite know how they're going to react. Are they going to be so fired up for Wednesday, get a result and, and push on? Are they going to, you know, be in the shell, be a little bit nervous about things? This is a huge test for Arsenal. Not only a young team, but a young manager, his first time at winning a title. And the cushion has got smaller. It's just even a three-point gap now, albeit Arsenal do have a game in hand even after this game is played. How much is emotional control from Mikel Arteta and his team, a team that, by the way, down the years, lacking in discipline at times, how important is that emotional control Wednesday? It will be important. Um, I think what we've seen in the last couple of games has told you how... Arsenal see Manchester City. The game against Brentford was almost like we need to get a result going into this game. We have to get three points on the board because we know Manchester City is so close. With Mikel Arteta on the touchline, we're seeing him get more animated all the time. And you just think, is that relaying now onto the pitch with the players? Are they sensing that there's something, that the momentum is sort of going away from them? It, we'll see on Wednesday night, but I think it's fascinating, the tactical battle between the two managers. Agree? Yeah, I, I look at that battle. I also think, listen, this is a game, if Arsenal don't lose, that's a good result. I yeah. think, you know, we, we're as we were. I also think a win for Arsenal, Rebecca, changes the whole outlook. Right now, the loss to Everton, the draw against Brentford, everybody's starting to say, well, this is a test for Arsenal. They go and beat Manchester City to put that gap there and have the game in hand. And all of a sudden, it's a different look. I just sense that an injection of belief that a win would give could be huge at this stage of the season. Who's favourite on Wednesday? Manchester City. Manchester City got the shirt, <laughs> done it before, already on the run. I know yeah. Arsenal are at home and Arsenal are ahead, but Manchester City, with what they've done over the time. Correct. But I don't, I don't think uh, Mikel Arteta will mind that. If his team play to capacity... Capacity, they can beat Manchester City. Because it comes down, doesn't it, to experience at some stage this mm. season, as you were talking about. They've done it, they've been in this position before, they've hunted down, but they've also led. Arsenal and these players have never been anywhere near this, Stephen. No, and I can't speak from experience of winning a Premier League, but I can imagine what the thought process will be in a Manchester City changing room. One game doesn't lose us the title, whereas you don't know what it might do to, to Arsenal. And, this, and a game of this magnitude as well, if you were to lose this game, would the Arsenal players then start to panic? If Manchester City lost it, I just think they'd say, doesn't matter, we've still got enough quality. Arsenal will slip up at some point. So if you think Manchester City are favourites, are you going for Manchester City to win or to get a draw on Wednesday? I, I think they'll win the game. I do. I just think the quality that they've got, the experience of, of big game occasions, I look throughout the pitch and I think De Bruyne, mm. Silva, Grealish, Mares, Haaland, you just look at those players and think, too much quality. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.